Hey guys, what's up? Lone Berserker here, and I'm showing you a 2v2. I'm playing as Swavy, my allies are Rome, we're going up against the Seleucids and Sparta. So my army is 3 Ger Germanic Scout Riders, 4 Germanic Slingers, 4 Spear, spear Wall, 4 Bloodsworn, a Hexbearer, 2 Swordmasters, and 2 Berserkers. My allies army is 3 Mercenary Iberian Slingers. An Evocati, a bunch of Evocati, uh, three, five Vigiles, a Veteran Legionnaire, and two Mercenary Iberian Cav. Sparta has two Citizen Cav, a Periorcoi Peltist, and three Cretan Archers. He also has a Royal Spartan, two Spartan Pikes, Heroes of Sparta, and Royal Spartans. He just hit his men with a fireball, by the way, if you're wondering what this is. <laughs> um, Seleucids have four Thorax Swords, four Assyrian Heavy Archers, four Pikemen, two Hillmen, three Hillmen, three Median Cav, and a Scythe Chariot. So I'm running up my um, Germanic Scout Riders here. To try to just take these guys out as fast as possible. Just so I don't have to deal with them later. So, I'm going to keep um, coming back to this unit. And then this happens. I don't know why my units run forward when I give them an attack order to um, shoot, their, throw their javelins. But it happens a lot, actually. Especially with javcav. They just keep running forward. Now I'm going to go for Assyrian Heavy Archers, his allies bringing over his two Citizen Cav, which I wasn't too afraid of. So I start, I do begin to shoot them, I just had my guys at fire at will. And I'm going to feint a charge here, and my guys do not end up throwing. And I do keep these Citizen Cav units under heavy fire actually. And my allies slowly but surely moving up in the back there. So I do bring my scout riders over here, um, his guys are down to 52 and 57, so I'm going to come in here, or I'm going to draw him out away from the infantry support, I'm going to throw some javelins at him, I'm just going to pretty much keep him away from, from his infantry, and then when I can I'm going to charge him. I'm focus firing his Syrian heavy archers, he doesn't even have all four of them up, so I, out, um, I outnumber him in this uh, skirmisher department. Oh, he also has, what is that, an Eastern Slinger? A Light Peltist. So he does end up bringing his Thorax Swords up. You can see over here, um, I do end up charging him. And you're going to see, this is actually going to be very close. Like, way too close. He destroyed the unit, or this unit. I don't know why. Um, these guys are doing, they just finished that Syrian Heavy Archer off, I'm going to target to the next one. My ally is shooting the flank of the Seleucid player because his ally is not moving at all. Um, and here's what I was talking about, my units just walk forward, I don't know why they were doing this. Um, I do eventually get them, but it's a bit late because my cavalry were getting wrecked over here, which I did not understand. I will be popping cavalry counter tactics and destroying these units here. Um... I bring up my Bloodsworn, which should have an easy time with these Thorax Swords here, especially that one there. I give them all an attack order, they throw their Javelins, and you can see they go from 119, and they just drop a lot. Um, I do take casualties back though. Um, with Bloodsworn, you're not just going to get a free charge and get, like, with a Berserker or a Swordmaster or an Oathsworn. You're not just going to get like 40 kills free. Um, I do end up beating his cav with the spear wall. Pretty easily actually. And um, because this unit over here doesn't have the support of a spear wall. It will pretty much lose. And he's bringing his pikes in. So he's doing well here. I'm bringing up all my scare units. Especially my hex bearer. And my berserkers. My ally brings over his Iberian cav. I do pop curse here and I get a lot of units. I didn't get this unit though, I don't know how. But you can see, like I said, it's starting to even out and he will win that fight. 
but I do have Berserker, so I will win there. I'll win here. I'll win here. I've already won over here. I'm going to outflank him, though. I don't want to keep an engaged fight like that. I do form um, shield screen. My allies' skirmishers are getting destroyed. Um, I do bring up my Hexberry. He tries to outflank me with Hillman. It's not going to do much, though. He does bring his massive flank of um, Median Cav and Scythe Chariots. So I was pretty scared of this, actually. So I'm throwing my Hexberry just to keep the Hillman back. And they lost like half their unit before the fight even began. So that unit's going to lose. Um, my Spear Wall will crush that Hillman. He does charge me. I did not micro that well. Um, I do outflank him with a uh, Berserker here. And this unit will get destroyed at this point. My ally is moving forward. Sparta still hasn't moved at all yet. Um, I do end up winning here because of the Berserker. That unit of Hillmen did end up breaking from the Hexbearer. Uh, the Chariots are what I'm afraid most afraid of, though. Um, I'm going to continue running this unit away, but... Or, no, I'm not. <laughs> I get caught again. I do form... Um, I do turn my skirmishers around, and they'll wreak havoc on their flank there. Over here, you can see I'm pretty much through at this point. Or, I'm losing, actually. These pikemen changed the fight completely, except for over here. I got the berserker around. Now I'm just going to start rolling down this line. My berserker is going berserk. He hasn't lost one unit le or one guy yet, but he's getting shot, so he's going to take some casualties. Um, he hasn't lost any yet, but he will get a rear charge on units like this, so that's pretty good. Um, I am shooting his scythe, or trying to shoot his scythe chariots. I don't know why this took so long. Um, I usually can never deal with these guys. I don't know why they're so susceptible. That word that I can't say to javelins. So that unit's gonna go away. Um, he's down to six from nine. These guys have pretty much lost at this point. There's a hillman there. Okay, that's why the general died. I've got my hex bearer to redeem itself. The first time a hex bearer actually did good. I mean, they're going to lose here anyway. You can see they got a few kills. They got 100. That's like the one of the only times I've seen a Hex Bearer do good. They're just so bad. I have no, I don't know why. They're like, they're kind of like a Berserker. Just nowhere near as strong and with a curse ability. That gives a pretty big morale debuff. And it can be used really well. Um, so at this point, we are cleaning up the Seleucid player. I don't know why Sparta didn't move. He hasn't moved still. He just built a few barricades and threw up some fireballs. That ended up killing his own heroes of Sparta. And hitting this Periokoi Peltist. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. He probably went up to activate and it, um, flung back and hit him. So, there's not much left at this point. I'm going to speed it up, actually. So as we begin to line up to take out Sparta, um, you can see in the back, by the way, the Seleucid Cav is just sitting back there. It's not going to do anything for the rest of the game. And you'll see why in a minute here. Um, I think at this point, the Seleucid player left the game. And then uh, Sparta will do the same in a minute here. That's why I'm fast forwarding it. There's not much point of letting it go. So um, I do start shooting his Spartan pikemen. You can see the cavalry coming in the back there. Once again, it's not going to do much. Um, you can see his Spartan pikemen is getting absolutely destroyed here. Um, so I'm bringing up this spear wall to try to get rid of his light peltus or Syrian heavy archer. And, sadly, I guess Sparta, I don't even know what happened. The guy wasn't talking to the game or anything. You know, Spartan Pikeman's almost dead at this point. It begins to waver here. Um, my ally's getting wrecked by the AI in the back there. I don't know why he didn't see those, or how he didn't see them. And the Scythe Chariots are still on the loose here. And there's still at six. So I did bring up my sword master. I don't even know what I did with him. 
I killed one Spartan Pike. That's when I begin to shoot the other. And in a few seconds here, you're going to see there it is. So they did end up both leaving the game. I don't know why. Sparta literally got 64 kills. My ally didn't even get any kills either. So we'll just match these two up. So his general didn't do that good. His Iberian Cav did not do that good. One Slinger did good. A lot of his infantry didn't even fight. And his Vigiles didn't do... Or they did what Vigiles do. Sparta's general didn't fight. Citizen Cav got a few kills. And that's pretty much it. His archers got a few kills. Um, my general and my two sword masters didn't do that good. My Germanic scout riders did not do that good. Slingers did good. Berserkers did pretty good. This one did really good. Bloods were not doing that good, actually. They did pretty bad. Hexbury ended up doing really good, and a few spear wall did good. This guy's general did pretty good. Median cav doing well. Light pelts did really good. Archers did good. Um, Hillman didn't do that good. Pikemen, two of them did pretty good. Or three of them did pretty good. And these thorax swords did well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time, and bye.